a shadow in the sea or something more sinister. From the beach it's hard to tell, but from the skies the drone has a clearer view. It feeds into deep learning software, which it's claimed has a 92% success rate in spotting sharks, as well as less threatening species. Every time it sees a dolphin, whale or a swimmer in distress, it learns their shape. Launched along the beaches of New South Wales, the drones can patrol for 40 minutes. Daniel was one of the first to train as a lifesaver pilot. I mean, I can't physically run out and grab a board and paddle out and save someone, but sitting on the beach, we've got eyes in the sky and we're just another, another layer of protection, really. The drones don't only observe, they can react too, dropping an inflatable device to help people in the sea. They won't replace the use of controversial shark nets and drum lines, however, which some claim do more harm than good. Last year, around Australia, there were 17 unprovoked shark attacks. The number isn't that high compared to how many people actually go in these waters, but it leaves a national preoccupation with the question of how to share the beaches between the human beings and the sea life. When this great white washed onto Sydney's shores recently, it was welcomed and christened Fluffy. Not everyone wants to get so close, even if the chances of an attack are minimal. It's, it's that human innate fear of um, you know, being attacked by a wild animal, um, but you know, the risk to people that are entering the water, it's still, it's, it rates so low on the scale as opposed to all other threats of going about your daily life. I mean, traffic and cars and bee stings and all those statistics. And for regulars in these waters, it's all part of the experience. I was actually swimming here once. At the back, I was six months pregnant and there was a shark alarm. I did freak out a bit. <laughs> if I'm going to die, I'd prefer to be taken by a shark than have a stroke and end up in a nursing home. The drones won't be on every beach every day, but they should give everyone a better understanding of what's down below. Howell Griffith, BBC News, Sydney.